everyone. Today's story is Big and Brave, written by Mandy Archer and illustrated by Mark Chambers. Oof, I think this is going to be a very special story to end our week with. Three, two, one, blast off! Dylan flipped his hood up, then tore across the playground. Bethany and Aaron charged after him. Whoosh! They were three astronauts, blasting into space. The friends scrambled over to the trim trail. Follow me! shouted Dylan, climbing into a tunnel. Aaron crawled in behind him. Now they were exploring a strange new planet. This is fun! giggled Bethany. Mrs. Campbell blew a whistle. Playtime was over. Do we have to come in now? grumbled Dylan. We're being astronauts. You do, I'm afraid. It's time to start our lesson. Make a line, please, Cedar Class, she replied. When they were in their classroom, Mr. Sullivan held up a big book with a star on the front. Who likes space stories? he asked. Put your hands up. Everyone's hands flew in the air. Cedar class was space crazy. They had been doing a class topic on space. Ooh, said Mrs. Campbell, pulling up her chair. I'd like to listen to this story too. Mr. Sullivan began to read. Once upon a time, there was a little green alien. Dylan jiggled his bottom lip, then pulled a silly face. I am an alien, he wobbled. Abby and Ella burst into giggles. Dylan made them laugh. When the story was over, Mrs. Campbell had some news. Next week is our class assembly, she explained, and we're going to put on a show. What sort of show? wondered Daisy aloud. Why don't we tell the little green alien story? Mr. Sullivan suggested. Cedar class loved that idea. There were whoops, cheers and lots of funny alien voices. Only Aaron stayed quiet. He wasn't sure about standing up in the hall. I'm not big and brave like you, he whispered to Dylan. Joey and Bethany fetched the dressing up box. Mrs. Campbell checked her list to see what they would need. Who wants to be wear this? said Abby, pulling out a shiny space helmet. Me! shouted Dylan. Dylan waved his arms in super slow motion, just like an astronaut. Look at me, he cried. I'm walking in space. Would you like to be the astronaut in our story? asked Mrs. Campbell. You'd be great at that, Dylan gasped. Yes, please. Every morning after assembly, Cedar class practiced their show. Everybody had something to say or do. The shining stars learned a special dance. The scientist held up a giant rocket. And the little green alien sang a song. Dylan had to read a sentence out loud. He sounded big and brave, just like a real astronaut. All through their lessons, Dylan couldn't stop thinking about the show. His head buzzed with astronauts, aliens and shimmery stars. Wake up, sleepyhead, smiled Mrs. Campbell in science. It's time to watch a video. Dylan grinned up at her. Sorry. The video was about the moon. When you go to bed, have a look out of your window, said Mrs. Campbell. There's going to be a full moon this evening. That night, Dylan pulled back his bedroom curtains. A big silvery circle glowed in the sky. <gasps> Mrs. Campbell was right. Dylan's dad came in to say goodnight. That's called a full moon, Dylan told him. It only happens about once a month. 
Dylan's dad was very impressed. You are our space expert, he chuckled. Well done. Wait till you see our assembly, grinned Dylan. It's full of amazing space facts. It was finally time for Cedar Class's assembly. The Sunnyside School Hall was packed. Rows of children, teachers and parents all looked up at the stage. Behind the curtains, Mr Sullivan rushed around making sure that everyone was in the right place. Are you nervous? Dylan asked Aaron. Aaron shook his head. No way, he grinned. My nan has come to cheer me on. I feel big and brave like you now. Mrs. Campbell wished everyone luck before the curtain opened. Dylan gasped. The hall was so full of people. He tried to spot his dad, but there were too many faces. Abby and Daisy did their star dance. Then Joey and Bethany held up the rockets that they had drawn. Ella and Aaron sang their alien song. It's your turn, whispered Aaron afterwards, giving Dylan a nudge. Dylan felt dizzy. He tried to say his lines, but a funny squeak came out instead. Someone started to giggle. Aaron jumped to his feet. Dylan did that on purpose, he said in a loud voice. Astronauts can't talk. There's no air in space. Everybody clapped. Aaron had saved the assembly. When it was all over, Dylan gave Aaron a big hug. I felt really scared, he said, but you helped me feel brave. Aaron smiled. That's what Cedar class friends were for. The End